Ahlan Musahlan, and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Intermediate Arabic with your instructor, Laura El Albani. In this lesson, we'll be learning about Al Mustar. Al Mustar in English means the verbal noun. Learning Objectives By the conclusion of this video, the student will be able to, number one, understand what a mustar is and how it is used in a sentence, and two, be able to identify some verbal nouns. The Arabic term for the verbal noun is mustar. The plural of mustar is masadr. So what is a mazdar? The mustar is a noun which is closely related to a verb. Since the mastar is a noun, number one, it is voweled as a noun. Number two, it takes tenween when it is indefinite. And three, it takes the definite article, alif lam, when it is definite. The mastar will almost always be definite, either with an alif lam or as the first term of an idafa. Remember that the first term of inadafa never takes alif lam. The mazdar has two primary purposes. First, it's used after a main verb to give the meaning of the infinitive, to do something. Or, two, it's used as an abstract noun. In this case, it could be translated as the gerund or the ing form of the word, like traveling or driving. Now let's look at a couple of examples of how it's used in each of these cases. First, when it's used as an infinitive. Look at the sentence. Uridu al amal fil umam al mutahida. The sentence Uridu al amal fil umam al mutahida means I want to work at the United Nations. In this example, the verb Uridu I want is the primary verb of the, of the sentence. Al amal is the verbal noun. And it functions as an infinitive. I want to work. In the second example, where we're using it as an abstract noun, we have the sentence Asafar bil Qatar Muriah. Asafar bil Qatar Muriah means Traveling by train is restful. In this example, a safar is a mazdar or a verbal noun, and it is used as a gerund. Can you identify the mazdar in this sentence? Sadiqi mashhul bi kitabat al wajib. Listen again as I read the sentence to you. Sadiqi mashhul bi kitabat al wajib. Yes, the mazdar is kitaba. Kitaba means writing. Earlier, I mentioned that mazdars are almost always definite. Can you tell me if this mazdar is definite or indefinite? It's definite because it's part of an idafa. You know it's part of an idafa because you have two nouns separated by an alif lam. Let's look at another example. Nuhibbu darasat al al Arabiya. Nuhibbu darasat al al Arabiya. Can you identify the mazdar in this sentence? It means we love studying the Arabic language. Yes, the mazdar is dirasa. Darasat al al Arabiya is definite because it's part of an idafa. And here, the mazdar is the second verbal action in the sentence. The first one is nuhibbu. Nuhibbu means we like or we love. Let's look at one more example. Mushahidat al aflam al arabiya muthiratun. Mushahidat al aflam al arabiya muthiratun. Watching Arabic films is exciting. Can you identify the mazdar in this sentence? Yes, the mazdar is mushahida. Mushahida 
means watching. It's the gerund or ing form. Each verb has its own mastar. For a basic form one verb, there is no single pattern to create a verbal noun. There are some patterns that you can use, but at this point, it's necessary to memorize the verbal noun for each new verb that you learn. This would be the easiest way. Later on, as we look at each of the different verb forms, you'll find that there is, in fact, a special mazdar related to the other forms from form two to 10. But the easiest thing to do for a form one verb is just to learn the verbal noun and the verb at the same time. Let's examine the relationship between the present tense verb, al fa'al al mudara, and the mustar or the verbal noun. The Arabic verb contains three items of information. One, the action. Two, the actor. And three, the time whether it's past, present, or future. For example, the verb kharaja. Kharaja means he left. The action is leaving. The actor is he. And the time is past tense. The verbal noun, el kharuj, which is formed from kharaja, means leaving. The verbal noun contains the action, but it has no actor or time information. Now let's look at some examples of Form 1 verbs and their mustar. In the first one we have, Yedhabu ila, he goes to. The mustar or verbal noun is, Adhahab ila, going to. Yedrusu. He studies. The verbal noun or mustar, adirasa, studying. Yaktabu, he writes. El kitaba, the verbal noun, writing. Yakrau, he reads. The verbal noun, el kiraa, reading. Yeshrabu, he drinks. The verbal noun, asharab, drinking. Yamalu, he works. The verbal noun, or the mustar, al amal, working. Yeskunu, he lives. The verbal noun, or mustar, a second. Yusafiru ila, he travels to. The verbal noun, asafir ila, traveling to. And this brings us to the end of our video. Remember that any time you learn a new verb, make sure that you learn the mastar that goes with it. Masalama.